Creating an invoice from a work order and adding a timesheet entry. An Aptora Mobile 2 training video. The purpose of this training video is to provide Aptora Mobile 2 users with a navigational workflow procedure to perform the task of creating an invoice from a work order and adding a timesheet entry. Like many other features and functions found within the Aptora Mobile 2 website, creating an invoice from a work order and adding a timesheet entry can be performed from different areas and forms within the website. This training video will cover the most common method of performing this function in the Aptora Mobile 2 website. Upon completion of this training video, users should have a good working knowledge of how to perform this function using the Aptora Mobile 2 website. This training video is broken down into four segments. Navigation to and editing of the work order, adding a timesheet entry, creating the invoice, and practical application scenario. Navigation to and editing of the work order. To begin, log in to the Aptora Mobile 2 website as the administrator user and proceed to the dashboard menu. From the dashboard, select the My Work Orders Data View option. Note that if the logged in user has no work orders assigned to them, there will not be any work orders to display from this option. This will always be the case for the administrator user as work orders cannot be assigned to the administrator user. Now, select the log off button and confirm log off by selecting the yes button. Log in as another user that has work orders assigned. If you have not installed or used the Aptora Mobile 2 website or Total Office Manager, please follow along to learn more. If the logged in user has work orders assigned to them, a number indicating how many work orders assigned will be displayed at the far right of this data view option. After selecting the My Work Orders data view, the user is directed to the work orders list. Note that this list is automatically filtered to display results for work orders relative to the logged in user that are scheduled and have not been completed or canceled and do not exceed the current day's date. Users may use the search filter to return a more specific list of results if the work order cannot be found in the list that is initially displayed. There is also a page selector found at the bottom of the list that can be used to sort results by page. Simply click a page number or select the arrow left or right buttons to browse pages forward or backward. Once the work order to be invoiced has been located in the list, Select the work order to open the work order for further viewing and editing. When the work order form opens, users may select the edit button if information on the work order needs to be updated or edited. Select an action icon to process any action that can be performed using an action icon or select the contact log data view displayed at the bottom of the form page to add or edit contact log entries and manage notifications. Because it is considered a common practice for a work order to be completed and a timesheet entry added upon completion of a work order, in this training video we will walk through this process in order to provide a more clear understanding of how workflow is processed regarding this function. First. Select the Edit button from the top right corner of the form page to begin editing the work order. Next, select the Status Field button to drop down a list of statuses to select from and choose the option Completed. After making the status change, select the Directions and Notes Data View option to expand the data view and enter in some generic notes. Once the directions and notes have been added, 
select the general data view option to expand the data view and add or edit any additional information into the fields provided. Upon completion of the data entry to the work order, select the Save button to save the information and lock the form from current editing. After selecting the Save button, select the Items Data View option to expand the data view and then select the Add Items button to proceed to the item search page. Enter in item search criteria into the search field provided, then select the Go or Enter button on your device or keyboard to return a list of item results. Choose the items to add to the work order by selecting the radio dial button adjacent to each item to be added, and then select the Add button to add the items to the work order and be returned to the work order form. Adding a timesheet entry. At this point, the user is ready to either create an invoice for the work order or add a timesheet entry. Users may do this in any order. In this training video, we will begin by adding the timesheet entry first. From the work order form, select the Add Timesheet Entry action icon. The user will then be directed to the timesheet form in Aptora Mobile 2 and will notice the form is open for editing. Make the appropriate timesheet entry selections in the fields provided on the form and then click the Save button to save the timesheet entry data and be returned to the work order form. Creating the invoice. After the user has made their timesheet entry and saved the timesheet, the user is returned to the work order form. At this point, the user is ready to create the invoice. Select the Add Invoice Action icon. A message prompt will display confirming the user would like to create an invoice for the current work order and whether or not the work order items should be included on the invoice. Make the appropriate selection regarding the items and then select the Submit button to proceed to the invoice form or select the Cancel button to be returned to the work order form. At this point the user has created the invoice and has the ability to perform a variety of different actions from the invoice form given that the user has the appropriate security permissions to do so. A user with the appropriate security permissions may add or edit the customer's signature, email the invoice, print the invoice, process a credit card payment, process another method of payment, not credit card, and edit invoice settings using the action icons displayed at the top left of the invoice form. In order to further illustrate the invoice form and features, we will select the Edit button to open the invoice for editing and review the invoice data view options. Main Information Add or edit the main invoice information contained within this data view. Additional Info Add or edit any additional information about the customer or invoice using the fields provided within this data view. Addresses. This data view is used to add or edit the customer's billing and working address information. Details. This data view is used to add or edit any pertinent information related to the invoice or customer. Items. Once the user has completed data entry up through the Details Data View option, the user will need to save the invoice before proceeding to the Items Data View and adding or editing items on the invoice. To do this, click the Save button found at the top right of the invoice form, then scroll down and select the Items Data View option. Next, select the Add Items button. 
When the item search page opens, use the search filter to return a list of item results. Then select the radio dial button adjacent to each item to be added to the invoice and click the add button found in the top right corner of the form to add the item selected to the invoice form and be directed back to the invoice form. Practical Application Scenario At this point, the user has completed a work order, added a timesheet entry for the work order, and created an invoice from the work order. Users should now be on the mobile invoice form. Please select the Home button to be returned to the dashboard and proceed to the final segment of this training video, the practical application scenario. Scenario. Complete a work order, add a timesheet entry, create an invoice from the work order, adding two items to the invoice, and email the invoice to a recipient. Upon completion of this scenario, return to the dashboard. Let's begin. My work orders. Select customer. Edit and complete the work order. Save the work order. Add timesheet entry. Save timesheet entry, create the invoice, edit and save the invoice, and then add items. Email the invoice.
Now select the Home button. This concludes the Creating an Invoice from a Work Order and Adding a Timesheet Entry Aptora Mobile 2 training video. If you have any questions about features seen in this training video, please visit our website where additional training videos are provided, or contact an Aptora sales representative and be sure to inquire about our other great products and services.